Good morning dear brothers and sisters, today we will see book of Joshua chapters 11 and 12. Joshua chapter 11, Victory over the Northern Kings In this chapter, we read about how Joshua and the Israelites faced a coalition of northern kings who came together to fight against them. The kings of various regions joined forces, believing that they could defeat the Israelites and halt their progress in the land promised to them by God. However, God had already spoken to Joshua, assuring him of victory. The Lord encouraged Joshua not to fear the opposing forces, for he would deliver them into his hands. The battle took place at the waters of Merim, where the Israelites engaged the enemy in fierce combat. With the Lord's guidance and power, the Israelites defeated the northern kings and utterly destroyed their cities. No one was left alive and the Israelites took possession of the land and its resources, just as God had promised. Through this chapter, we see God's faithfulness to his covenant with the Israelites. He led them to victory over their enemies, showing his might and sovereignty. Joshua's obedience and trust in God's promises were rewarded, and the Israelites continued to experience his blessings as they claimed the promised land. Joshua chapter 12 kings conquered by Moses and Joshua. In this chapter, we find a record of the kings whom Moses and Joshua defeated in their conquest of the land on the east side of the Jordan River and the west side of the Jordan River. The chapter provides a summary of the victories and territories that were conquered by the Israelites under the leadership of these two faithful leaders. The list includes the kings of various regions and cities, such as Sion, king of the Amorites, and O.G., king of Bashan. It also mentions the territories that were taken from these kings, as well as the lands that remained unconquered. Through this chapter, we see how God fulfilled his promise to give the land of Canaan to the descendants of Abraham. The victories over these kings served as a testament to God's faithfulness and the strength of the Israelites when they followed his commands and trusted in his guidance. As we read this chapter, we are reminded of the importance of obedience and faith in God's promises. The victories of Moses and Joshua teach us to rely on God's strength in our own battles and to trust that he will lead us to overcome the challenges we face in life. Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue with the book of Joshua in the next video. Thank you, God bless you.